so I figured I would do an unboxing because I got a lot of games. Now, before I get into that, I can explain. Um, a friend of mine stopped by my store the other day and he was telling me how much he enjoyed playing uh, San Juan. And that's a game that I've been wanting for a long time. And so it's basically, from what I understand, like a Puerto Rico version, but card, uh, card based. So what I was like, oh, I've been wanting that one. And he's like, oh, they have it at our local game store. So I was like, really? So then I looked at the local game store website and they did have it for $40, which is like, okay, maybe I should get it. And then I was like, wait, I'll see in case somebody sells is selling it secondhand and then I'll buy it that way. So then I went on the marketplace on Facebook and then I found it for $20 still in shrink in Calgary. So I was like, perfect. Now, when am I going to Calgary again? So I was chatting with uh, some girlfriends that we talk about board games all the time. And I was like, oh, I found someone for $20 new in shrink in Calgary. Just got to figure out how to pick it up. And then they said, I think the store in Red Deer is selling it for like $17 or something like that. And I was like, which store? And it's a liquidation store that I guess had a bunch of games on it. So my friend says, you know what? I'm heading that way. I'll go there and I'll take pictures of what they have and let me know if you want anything. Turns out I, I did. I wanted a few things. So let me show you what I ended up getting. Okay. So. Sun Juan. I got this one. $12. Um, new and shrink and it's the card gate uh, card base and then my friend was telling me like it is it sounds like it's good multi-use card like everything is card based so I'm really excited to give this one a try so this one came home then I also get ended up getting shadows Amsterdam so she just kind of took pictures of a bunch of them some of them I had heard before, so I was like, okay, well, I'll give this one a try. Some of them I kind of quickly looked at, uh, looked up, and then this one looked really, really cool with the, uh, you know what? I kind of watched a quick video of it, and it looks like it's Codename and Dixit or Mysterium blended into one. So, but then it's tile base, almost Carcassonne like. I don't know. You know what? I'm excited to give this one a try. So shadows in Amsterdam so I'm that one and that one was nine dollars so and then Meowy which is a cat like a neat cat base and you're got like you're kind of playing cards to go fishing um and it's fishermen cats I guess the video looked really cutesy so I'm excited to give this one a try. And this one was also $9. And then I got Nuns on the Run. This is one that I've heard of before. Um, and I was kind of looking more into it a little bit. And basically, um, what is that one game where you're in London running away? That's going to bug me now. I'm not going to remember the name. And I know Whitechapel, Letters of Whitechapel is kind of similar as well. So what's neat with that is you got the person that's you can't really see and they're running away and you're trying to find them. Um, and that tends to be like the neat part of it, to be the person getting away. Um, with this one, everybody is the secret identity person and then the one is trying to find them. Uh, so... It, it looks neat. I'm excited to give this one a try. And then this one was also $9. Okay, see what else we got. Then I got Bastion. Bas Bastion. Um, so this is a cooperative castle defense game. So kind of like uh, Castle Panic, I guess. Um, it The mechanism is a little bit different. There's little miniatures in here, and this one was $15. So, and I know when I first played Castle Panic, I absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was so cool. So I'm really excited to give this one a try as well. 
Z-Man games. Um, I normally enjoy their the production of their games, so we will see. And then I got uh, Walls of York. And okay, this one kind of looked interesting. And this one is another $9 game. So the way that it looked like in the video, because I just looked it up real quick, um, it almost feels like it's a roll and write, but you don't actually write. You physically put these walls on the castle. And what will happen is you will roll these dice down this little tower and then it'll kind of show three different number and you're trying to put walls down to try to in, kind of include that many icon within the interior of your castle. So it looks neat. I'm excited to give this one a go. Um, so yeah. We'll see. And then that was it for this bag. So let's go into the other bag. All right. I have got for $7 Wooly Wars. Um, it just looked cute. So it's a towel placement game. And you're trying to put sheeps together. And there's wolves that will kind of. So you got to be careful about the wolves. And I'm not sure how all it works. But it looks really cutesy. So we'll, we'll see. This is just the kind of game that it's kind of easy to get to the table and it's not too big of a fight to get the kids to play. So. All right. Oops. Then I got for $14 The Legend of the Cherry Tree. You know, a uh, tree, tree. Yeah, three, uh, tree. So I don't know. I don't know much about this one. I've heard of it. The box looks beautiful. Um, it has like these little neat plastic flower tiles that you're kind of collecting. So it's like a set collecting where you put collecting flowers in front of you and they'll score for the set. But then you're also collecting behind the, um, your, what is it called now? Jeepers, I am losing all my words. Um, but you kind of hide those behind and then you collect these as well. So um, it's a yellow game. I normally enjoy the production of the yellow game, so I am excited to give this one a try as well. So this one was $14. And then we've got Master Fox for five bucks. Um, so with this one, everyone gets a little fox mask that you'll place in front of your face so you can't see and inside the box there's a bunch of little wood meeples in different shape and you're supposed to try to by feel to collect different things depending on what came up on the card now i got this one for my friend who has three young children and they enjoy playing games and i thought this would be a neat one for their family to have so it's probably going to be part of uh, their Christmas present. I normally try to do baskets, like kind of gift baskets that has like game a game in it and then a few snacks, kind of like a game night in a basket. So this is going to be going in there. Now if she's watching, shh, act surprised when you see it. Um, then I got, no, I didn't get this one. I lent it to my friend and she just put it in a bag to return it. So Vampire Queen is such an amazing game. But yeah, so she wanted to give it a try. Um, I've got Nessos. You know, I, I don't know a whole lot about it. It looks cute. It To me, I think it kind of, when I watched the video, has a bit of a Uno feel to it, I think. And my youngest son uh, loves Uno, so we play that one often. But it has like this little kind of, I think it's plastic uh, vase of some sort that kind of moves around. So... I don't know. It looks super interesting. I think it'll be one that they'll enjoy playing. Three to six players, which is great since we're a family of six. So, that's those. I also have Pina Parada for $12. Um, the artwork on this is super cute. And then ever since we did the um, on the podcast, the board game specialist, we did our top nine pirate theme game, which apparently was my idea. Um, to do that as a theme and I <laughs> didn't have nine pirate games to play so I've been making sure I build up my pirate game. even though the video or the, the podcast is done I don't necessarily need pirate games now not until we do it again but 
I'm ready. All right, then I've got Booty. This one was $9. Uh, it's another pirate game. Oh, look at that. Um, this one looks interesting. So you have like these little map portions and it looks like these are cards and then I don't know a whole lot about it. It just looked interesting. Uh, booty to the clever goal, the spoils. So for nine bucks, I think it's worth giving it a try. And then, oh, I was really excited about this one for $15 pandemic legacy season one. So I really enjoyed pandemic. Actually, yesterday we played Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu and we died almost instantly. Um, I remember the first time I played Pandemic, I was like, what was that? That was cool. So I'm a big fan of this game. I've never done the Legacy game. I've heard great things about it. Um, it's probably one that I'm going to do with just Lee because it's easy to get the two of us to sit down and play a game. I think kind of bringing other people to kind of commit to going through playing all of these games in a Legacy game might be a little bit too difficult. But 15 bucks, Pandemic Legacy, I am thrilled. And then, last thing that's in here, and this wasn't from Liquidation, this is from Walmart. Um, bag of chips. So, I'm on the riveted Facebook group, which is the Board Game Mechanics Facebook page. And we chat on there all the time. And somebody commented on there how amazing, simple little fun game this was. And I was like, really? Like I have seen this game lots of times at Walmart. It was just like, I don't know. So I left it there, but they were saying just how ridiculous fun it was so I was like okay well I want it now so I went to the Walmart not I mean an Airdrie so the closest one to me then it didn't have it anymore so then my friend Ted sent me a picture like oh look what I found clearance five bucks I'm like oh please grab it for me so now I can give this a try I like the little silly fun games you know so little fillers and then with the kids um so We'll give this a try. So bag of chips. So that's it. That's it. That's not it. I have a couple of games coming tomorrow. Uh, I'll, I'll unbox that some other time. So that's it for my games today. So stay tuned. I'll be unboxing some of these so you can see what the game looks like. Bye everyone.